It's a good old fashioned build and review, but today, 24 pieces, it's the extra river tape, water tape. Um, it's a product that I think more people should be talking about. I'm really excited for it. And the packaging's kind of weird, so I'm thinking this is only going to be available at like Lego stores. I got it from lego.com. And it does have a hanging um, tab, so can we pop that up? Yeah, that's. It's a nice chunky thick tab, it's not coming off. Um, we do get 15 meters or 49 feet, Oops, there it is in the frame. Um, constructions, Splitzgog. Um, zero to three though, because it does contain Lego parts that will destroy babies. Um, components made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China. Mexico and China, yeah. No Czech Republic, wow, interesting. Um, distributing the USA, normal stuff, cool. But um, yeah, this is a pretty cool looking set if I if, if I'm to to judge it by the box. We're gonna get uh, 24 Lego pieces in many different languages, and almost 50 feet of tape. So first impressions, this it's kind of squishy. It's a little bit soft. So very interested to uh, to get in here. It looks like. Pull tab. It is some kind of pull tab. <gasps> okay, there's two more over here and on the other side. Cool. And have we released it? We did. We released it. Oh, wow. So inside the roll of tape is instructions and all the pieces. Let's do a quick build, and then we'll get into the tape. So the only things to build are the bucket, which doesn't get numbered steps, five steps for the raft, and a, again, no step for the um, seaweed. Interesting, they only include one? No, they do. That's weird, because it doesn't show the frog as a build in the picture, but we do have the frog as a build over here. So um, well, let's use scissors. I feel like scissors might be a thing we might need for this video. Cool. Goodbye, trash. So seaweed. I wonder if that's plants from plants yet. Are we at that stage in the world? Frog goes on the flower and makes a little lily pad. So fun note for those color people. That is the earth green, I believe. This is the... Um, dark green and then that's the bright green that's the the standard green is the dark green and then the bright green is the new <laughs> new standard oh look we already caught a coffee so this goes like this on here and then this and then that this is a, a neat, very reasonably designed raft using fairly minimal pieces um, looks like we have a, yep, we're gonna make a flagpole out of one of the yellow staffs and then a single ore out of this other one. I don't think I've got any of these ore pieces yet, the new ore piece, if I can sit there. A toolbox or a tackle box, a fish, a crab, it's nice to always get that crab piece, I love that classic crab, and then a coffee and a net. So. Seven out of ten, whatever. Uh, neat, but let's play with the tape. So, Lego tape... Dragon, please. Lego tape was a huge thing. Oh, no, there's a little indenture there. Can you see that? It was a huge thing all of a sudden out of nowhere. And... Lego never made tape, but it was like for building on. It had blocks and things. It had it studs. So how easy is it to tear? Ooh. It's very papery tape, actually. Um, I would say it's like a packing tape or something. It just rips pretty easily. Okay, fairly sticky. I'm not gonna stick to the recording kind of Destiny Great. So let's ball that up. Let's um, take a nice clean cut. Tear it 
pair. No. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so I did not cut that the best. Let's try one more time. Okay. So I'm gonna say right here, um, let's take off the bit and let's stick it down. And then I should be able to just like run my scissors, I'm hoping, through this. No, because it's sticky. It is a little bit difficult to cut with these um, scissors. Maybe if I had sharper ones. Hmm. It doesn't look doesn't look terrible. Is it comparable to any colors around me? Um. Well, no, because I can't get the one piece that is kind of in the light blue color that I have nearby me off. Um, comparable to light blue. Let's look at a bright blue. I don't know that color's number or name. Bright blue, I believe. Um, his pants are earth blue. So there's kind of a color gradient to compare that to. And I have a transparent blue nearby. Eh, doesn't look bad with the transparent. Anyways, what if I put, I'm thinking I'm gonna try and put another section of it right here next to it. Cut it and then show you guys how it looks. We'll have to move the dragon. It looks nice. The edges don't seem super hard. There's a little bit of a crease there because I messed it up, but the edges don't stick super hard. So let's try and do a cool guy move and attempt to. Pull it up and replace it. Yeah, it came up pretty good. Um, I did mess up the corner where I started to peel it. I guess what road tape, and I assume the road is going to be the exact same consistency as this. And so over on this side, where I did peel, yeah, I got it. As I where I peeled it, you can kind of see where it's creased and it kind of like folded over on itself. But um, maybe a little bit of a water area. Not terribly difficult. You can see where I overlapped it a little bit. It's a little darker, but it's nice. It's got a little bit of grit to it, just a little bit. Um, feels feels good. Put it on my fake wood. Peel it again. Huh. Not bad. Not the best. Not my like absolute favorite, but um, I don't hate it. It's pretty pretty reasonable, I'd say, honestly. Let's fix that white balance. Oh, no, it's not gonna do it, but anyways, um, yeah, so that's very reasonably done, and there's a lot. I've used less than two feet, obviously. Um, the one complaint I will go ahead and just tell you is like, this, this roll is all kind of beat up already before I got it. <laughs> you can see some cardboard stuck to the side here already. Not a huge deal, but it's whatever. So yeah, no, that's fun. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Should I replace the backdrop with tape? It'd be weird to have a wall of water, but I could do something like that. The build, not worth the, it was nine bucks or something. Jeez, that would be a thing I should probably look into. But I did forget to look at the bucket. There you go. Now you can't say I forgot the bucket. Um, well, it is peeling up. I did stick it down a couple times in the Friday time. Peeling itself up. Maybe I didn't push it down good enough. But yeah, 
it's not like it's impossible to peel up with your fingers. It's a fairly innocuous tape. It's not going to like ruin things, I don't think. It's not going to pull up paint off a wall. And um, really, like this one I would say is better than the streets because the streets is just going to have lines down the side. And you can't really make a double wide street that way. But the water, you can kind of just level layer up and make all kinds of shapes out of as long as you don't cover up too many of the patterns, a little fishy pattern, some waves. You know what? Let's go crazy and see if we can find, there's a different fish pattern. There's the same big fish pattern, like big school of fish. There's a the little fish pattern. Okay, so cool. it's kind of repeating. I now have a lot of tape. There's a the little fish pattern here, and let's try and count how many spins. One. Two. Spins to the big fish pattern. And we keep spinning it. Now, I don't think it's meant to go back on the roll necessarily. So that was a reasonably bad way to do that but um it's my tape and i can do what i want i think we will call that the review though <laughs> um thanks for watching automatic video over here click that for subscribing and then over here this raft can be the other thing that i handpicked for you um yeah so that's that's Lego tape. Very cool.